Hi, Dr. Blake Bloxham and Dr. Alan Fella. And we're from Felder and Bloxham Medical, a hair transplant clinic in Great Neck, New York. And we're making another video today to discuss some of these uh, FUE realities, or lack of realities like might be a better term. Something I want to discuss today is uh, why people are choosing to ignore these realities and, and why they are still choosing to, to move forward with this fixed false belief that they have. And basically what I think is happening is that people are going into their hair transplant research with the idea of FUE somewhere in their mind. Um, it seems great on paper, you know, it seems like it's everything they want it to be. As they do their research, there's running into roadblocks. You know, people like us are saying things that don't line up with their vision of what this procedure is. Because on one side, you have people saying, oh, it's scarless, you can do 5,000 grafts with no damage, shave your head if you don't want it, it grows sure. just the same as strip, etc. So that's what they want to hear, because in the back of their mind, they're saying, I want an FUE. Then they're hitting these roadblocks uh, from people like us who are saying these different things. And I think what a lot of people are doing is they are basically drowning out and blocking out the bad things they don't want to hear and only picking half-truths of the things they want to hear and creating this warped perception of what's really happening. Um, and they're doing this so it'll align with what they, they want. You know, they think they want FUE. So they're kind of twisting and turning things until they say can say, oh look, you know, here's the facts about FUE, and it makes sense to me. It's what I want to hear, so let's go. Um, and I had a recently a, a very good example of this happen on the forum on one of the, the popular hair transplant forums. So on this forum, having an FUE versus FUT discussion, and an FUE only doctor came in and basically said, look, here is proof that it works, you know, just the same. And the proof that he gave was uh, a 100 graft test where he basically removed 100 FUE grafts, transplanted them into an area, a scarred area, um, and showed that 99 of them grew when you did 100 grafts. Well, nobody's ever done that before, Yeah, right? exactly. And, you know, this is something that's been done many times. You did it on a, a patient with scar tissue in the back in 2002 or three with even more grafts, 400 grafts, and showed that they grew well. So basically what he was asserting was, you know, look, here's proof that this works. Um, well, he's saying he has proof that this works on a large-scale basis, yeah, and but he's only showing a small-scale example. It, exactly. That, that was my question to him was, okay, you know, you, you've taken um, 100 grafts and shown a 99% growth rate, so are you claiming you can extrapolate that to 3,000? Are you saying that you can claim, oh, if, like, if I can do 100 at 99%, I can do 3,000 at 99%? And, of course, this question wasn't answered, um, you know, an evasive response all around, and... Um, Basically, what ended up happening was that um, you know we we acknowledge that yes, when you do these small FUE sessions, um, they can work, and this is why we advocate for small FUE sessions. If you go small, if you use manual tools, um, you know you will be able to to do this and make it work at a, a fairly reliable level. Not always, you can still earn those patients where it just no, doesn't I mean, work. I would rather if somebody only needs a hundred or two hundred grafts. I would rather do it as an FUE oh, yeah. than as a strip. Of course, that's where FUE comes into its own. Mm -hmm. It's when you start scaling up to the larger and larger cases that the diminishing returns get worse and worse. Yes, yeah. and that, you know that was where we basically left it. You know there were some good analogies thrown in there, but basically that's where it was left off. Is that look, you can't give this small amount of data and extrapolate it. Um, and then a little later, a poster came in and just said, "Aha! You know here's the proof. This is the smoking gun. If you ah. look at these hundred, this hundred graph presentation." This proves everything. Well, that's it. We're done, right? End of discussion. You know, we're done. Yeah, hang up. Hang up your license. Uh, you're done. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe not. And you know, th this is—it's a perfect example of what I'm getting at here. So this is someone who obviously looks at, at the data that we have presented in this thread. There's many important questions that I put out there that were left totally ignored. Um, the fact that this was a very small controlled sample that was not—that um, you can't extrapolate on a large scale—was left um, completely unaccounted for. Uh, the fact that we had shared studies that were of the exact same size, the exact nature that this doctor was doing that showed the opposite, and these were better studies, these were published studies showing that there is damage with FUE, the growth yield is less. Um, he took all of this and just completely pushed it aside and said, this is the one factoid that aligns with, with what I want to believe, yes. so done. It's over. And that's fine. You know, the, a lot of the internet is, is just fantasy, and it's, it's ridiculousness, it's anonymity. Um, but here's where the problem comes in. So this patient has, has taken what he wants to believe, and he's saying, look, here's the proof, so he's signing up for an FUE. Just because you have, have distorted the facts and you've gotten to the point where you believe it's going to work, doesn't mean your hair follicles are on board. 
it's still it's going to be the same procedure. But my advice to this patient is, if he's only getting 100 grafts into his scar, go Perfect. for FUE. We're yeah. with you, all right? If you are somehow translating the success of this um, transplant, which, by the way, I did in 2002. I was the first person in the world to put uh, the um, grafts from FUE into scar and see it grow. Um, but if you think that's going to translate up to justifying doing 4,000 grafts and thinking you're going to get 90, 99% birth yeah. rate, you better think again. Think again, or you know, get your doctor to put that in writing. Get someone to put, when you go into your procedure that morning of, for your 3,000, 4,000 graft FUE, get that 99% number in writing. Yeah, good luck. See if that doctor will put down, I guarantee that 3,900 and such and such out of your 4,000 grafts will grow. Get what, that in writing. What Dr. Box and I are trying to offer to everybody out there who is a potential hair transplant patient or even a past transplant patient, there is reality mm -hmm. and there is what is promulgated on the internet. We are trying to give you reality. It's not just our reality. It's an objective it's reality, reality on yeah. being in the field for almost a quarter of a century. People are going to do what they want to do. People tend to do what they like to do and then justify it later. Um, when you're doing FUE, I believe you shouldn't be doing large FUE cases. You will have some successes, there's no question, but it's a gamble. Just like you go to Vegas, you may, you'll gamble. Some, most people will lose, some people will win. But you don't just focus in on the people who are winning and say, see, you go to Vegas, you make money. <laughs> Because most people are walking out the back and, and not making money, they're losing money. This is for you. This is reality talk. Yeah. By the way, did you notice that we're color coordinated today? We are. Some, looks, somewhat? It looks okay. good. It almost never happens. We didn't plan it. Okay, I don't want to go too far on this video, no. but it's just to show that what's going on here is nothing new. FUE is nothing new. Putting graphs into SCAR and seeing it grow is nothing for new. For small cases, yeah. It's, it, we are for FUE for smaller cases. I've been advocating for that for the past... 17 years since FUE was introduced into North America. This is not news. It doesn't scale up to the larger cases. You're taking greater and greater risks when you do that. There is no solace to be taken, no security to be gotten by saying, hey, 99 graphs grew here, therefore 900 and 999 graphs will grow on a 1,000 graph yeah. case, or 3,999 graphs will grow on a 4,000 graph case. Because by and large, it just isn't true. It's not a bet I would make on my scale. Oh, absolutely not, no. And I don't think you should either. But if you do, that's your call. There's nothing we can do about it. But we would recommend you don't. If you need large cases, go for a strip yeah. procedure. It's still the gold standard, folks. That's what I had done on me. This is all transplants. That's what we did on him. He was totally... <laughs> no, just kidding. He still has a lot of hair like you guy. But if he did lose a large number of his amount of his hair, we would do it. No, would you do it as a strip or an FUE? A hundred, hundred percent. And can you do FUE? I can. I, I do. I can do FUE. I do FUE all the time. I think people online, some of these um, these FUE enthusiasts would be mad if they knew how much FUE we do here. Because we do it all the time. We're very good at it. But we don't do 3,000 graph sessions. Uh, we don't do the ready, set, go, rip out graphs as quick as you can from the back of someone's head. That's not the way we practice. Right. Um, and that's, that's where you get into the problems with FUE. You know, if, if you're... If you have all the time in the world to slowly remove, carefully, manually, 100 grafts and transplant them, great. That's the best way you can possibly do your FUE. But that's not what happens when you move to 3,000, 4,000 grafts. It becomes a boom, 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 get it done, get it done. And that's where there is, is no one on the planet who is going to tell you or they shouldn't tell you that you're going to get 99% growth. It's absurd.